off the hook, on the plate. I'm Josie Lanzi and today we're going to head offshore and have a little fun fishing and come back here with that fresh catch of the day. And I hope it's something different this time because I am really psyched about today's trip. It's super calm and we're going to have a blast. So let's get fishing so we can get cooking. All right, we're heading out. It's a little bit breezier than we thought. They call from 10, 10 miles an hour from the east, uh, two feet or less. So hopefully that's what happens when we get out there. So we'll see you when we get there. Let's kick it. Well, we made it to our favorite spot. We had some action on the way here. I thought it was mackerels, but they were little tummies, which are a type of uh, tuna but it's not good to eat but they sure give you a nice fight that was fun so now it's time to catch the fresh catch of the day let's see what kind of bait we got we got a uh, frozen Manhattan frozen grunt squid sardines and oh yeah plenty of pinfish so we're ready to fish let's get fishing to see what's down there we'd like to start with squid and get them eating so we're both gonna send down some squid and see what's down there check it out Brian got a trigger fish that's good food right there ain't that cool looking awesome it's locked yep until you push the trigger check out that trigger and that cool everybody Ooh, Ooh. good fishing day this is excellent fish to catch excellent to eat first red grouper today we on third type of species we already got grunt in the cooler we got a trigger and brent thinks he's got a grouper keep over there Whew. good fishing day we put this one back still lives gag of the day we better measure that one looks look pretty at, big look oh look at him look at beautiful him. yeah it sure is wow yep and just got a grunt now so we got actually five different kinds of fish we caught today. Man, that's an awesome day. Awesome. Well, it was another fabulous fishing day. We just about caught everything. I forget that excellent tasting trigger fish. I can't wait to go home and create an off the hook recipe with that one. I'll see you back at the house. Okay, uh, the trigger fish has some scale on the outside. So to, to scale the fish and not do the damage really, you just take the back of your knife, see how it's easily damaged that way. You just go a little slower, take your time. Just get the most of it. A lot of times when you cook fish that has scales on it, on a very high heat, it actually uh, cooks off the scales all together, but I like to like rub it a little bit like this to get most of them off. All right, now that I'm done scaling it, as I showed you, I'm going to start around the head here and cut along the dorso. Here, you just want to stay above the bones and you'll get a nice fillet there. This is gonna be fantastic. And it's as simple as this. You have two beautiful, look how thick the meat is. This is gonna be wonderful. I'm gonna create yet another off the hook recipe. And scaling it and having a little hard time at first when you start filling it, just take your time and I guarantee you it's well worth it. Okay, here we have our trigger fish that I showed you how to fillet. We're keeping the skin on the one side and all we're going to do to this fish is just season it with sea salt. Want to do this on both sides. Okay, I have a tablespoon of oil here on a medium high heat. It's time to add our fillets. You want to add them skin side down. Okay, let them cook on the first side about four to five minutes. Okay, the fish has been cooking four and a half minutes actually. It's starting to turn white around the edge and we always know that's time to turn it. Oh look at that beautiful golden crust going on here on the skin. Perfect. Cook for about three more minutes on the second side. Okay the fish is done cooking. I have here in a small saucepan a melted uh, butter. I have one tablespoon of melted butter. To that I'm going to add half a cup of cream, 
quarter cup of lemon juice, a zest of one lemon, quarter cup of cilantro, a little salt, a pinch of cracked black pepper. Okay, whisk this together and continue to whisk until it's heated through completely. We have our fish laid out on the plate and I like to just take the lemon herb sauce and just drizzle it all over the top, just like so, and a little bit around. Yum! Of course you garnish it with a little lemon because we know there's lemon in there. And voila! You have trigger fish with lemon and herb sauce. That simple. Yet another off-the-hook recipe. Bon appétit. Wasn't that trigger fish cool looking? And it's even better tasting. So if you ever catch one of those, go ahead and try my recipe. In any case, you, most of my recipes you can always substitute with like a fresh local fish caught in your area. So until next week, you guys, I had a lot of fun. And I'll see you back here for another off-the-hook, on-the-plate recipe. Bye.